All right, let's talk about waves uh, interfering with each other. Uh, the one of the names for this uh, this behavior of waves when they uh, one wave and another wave cross paths is called uh, superposition or interference. Uh, and um, this could happen when like two waves are heading towards each other, blah blah blah. But they don't have to actually like be on like exactly the same path. Uh, they could just intersect or whatever. Um, what matters about superposition is that it's something that happens at the moment they cross and only happens during that moment. So if the waves cross each other, something will happen right at the moment where they cross, but then they're just going to continue on doing what they were doing. Uh, so um, this first example of waves, I just have two uh, transverse waves. They cross each other. And if you notice, they are in phase, meaning that they're identical waves that are touching each other. Now, I kind of made this uh, on purpose. Um, like I, I just copy pasted and just changed change the color. Um, but because these two waves are exactly in phase, uh, as they cross each other, sometimes those two waves are going to add up together. Uh, the high points will add together and we'll get something called constructive interference where the wave uh, acts even bigger. But then if the blue wave moves a little bit forward and the red wave moves uh, a little bit forward, instead of their high points uh, and high points being lined up, their high point and their low point would be lined up. So basically what would happen here is as the waves are approaching each other, sometimes the waves would add together and get louder, and sometimes the uh, waves would uh, cancel each other out partially and get quieter. Uh, so um, yeah, so that's the, the superposition that's, that's happening uh, there. But let's, let's take a step back. I'm just going to look at some simple wave pulses. So instead of a periodic wave that's being sent over and over and over again, we're just like a quick wave, like if you had a rope and you just whipped it real quick. Uh, and I'm going to use just some like arbitrarily square waves for this uh, example. So I have two waves that are in phase. In this case, they're both going up and that's all there is to it. When they cross each other, uh, you can see that this, uh, this point here and that point there would add together. And so I would be four high instead of two high. Uh, and then this point here and this point there would be also be four high, and this point here and this point here would be four high. And so the resultant wave, when they are in complete superposition, meaning they've completely overlapped with each other, is that we would have a much more intense wave than we did individually. If, on the other hand, the waves are going opposite uh, in opposite phases, uh, then what's going to happen is the uh, this up part of the wave and this down part of the wave are going to end up canceling out uh, plus two minus two plus two minus two plus two minus two and so the resultant superposition there makes it seem as if there is no wave so we call this first example when the waves are working together constructive interference this is it's adding more it's behaving more like more of itself than it was before. Then we have destructive interference when we have waves that are out of phase, destructive, uh, and then the, it seems as if they've they've canceled out. But I want to be clear: uh, waves have to follow conservation of energy just like everything else does. So we didn't actually make more energy here. We just at that moment have the combined energy of the red and the blue wave. But then as the waves continue on, a little bit later on, we're going to have red wave is going to exist again and it's going to keep moving on that way, its merry little way, and blue wave is going to keep moving on its merry little way. Uh, nothing long term has happened except at that one moment they were extra big. Uh, so that would be something like if you if you're at the beach, sometimes you'll see two waves that are coming in at slightly different angles, and they'll hit each other, and you'll get a really big wave right there. But that wave doesn't stay big forever. Just as they move past each other, it, we just go back to the two waves um, moving back. Uh, same thing happens with this destructive wave. Uh, with the destructive wave, when I send uh, as soon as they pass each other, the red wave continues on. The blue wave continues on. We didn't actually destroy the wave, and that's where this is kind of a, a little bit of a misnomer. The wave wasn't really destroyed. It just didn't exist or wasn't visible at that moment because the energies were canceling out. But as soon as they continue on, the energy still exists and nothing happened uh, long term to those.
Uh, so that's constructive interference, destructive interference. And some the, the last example that I have on this page is waves don't always look exactly, uh, they're not exactly the same. So we don't necessarily uh, always get complete constructive interference or complete destructive interference. If I was to overlap these two waves, um, you can kind of imagine that this down wave and that up wave, basically what's going to happen is it's just going to carve out a little bit of that wave. And so the resultant wave is going to look like this at the moment that they are in full superposition. Then they move past each other. It's like nothing ever happened. Uh, it's also worth talking about kind of what it looks like as they're uh, just past full superposition. So that would be if the blue wave is right here and the red wave is where I drew it. Uh, and so if that happened, the wave would look something like this. It would go down here because that matches the downwards part there. But then you can see this part and the positive wave are going to cancel out. I'm just going to cut a little corner out. It's going to go something like do, 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 do. You can see that this is the cutout part that matches the other cutout part that's all from the blue wave. And then finally, uh, the wave's just going to, the rest of the wave looks exactly the same. And so it would look something like that. And so kind of as that wave moved across there, it would be chopping out a little uh, half circle section that kind of moves across the wave. Really, they're both moving across each other, but mentally it's easier to imagine one of them staying still. Uh, so that is superposition of waves. This leads to a lot of really cool effects like uh, beats and resonance that we'll learn more about. Um, but the big idea that you guys just need to carry with you is constructive interference is when the waves are both going the same direction, both up or both down, and it creates a bigger, louder, brighter something wave. Destructive interference is the opposite. It's when they're going opposite directions. And then if we have different, uh, different combinations of waves, we have to kind of generally know how to combine those. So thank you for watching. Hope this helps.